Hello guys, and welcome to kind of an announcement video, I assume. As some of you may have heard uh, already, I'm starting a proper Let's Play now. Um, and such, that I'm stopping the marathons just because the Let's Play is going to be instead of the marathons. It's going to be a lot of fun and such. Um, and as you may have heard, I was planning to do it on Blaze Black 2. Now, um, I had a bit of, you know, discussion with myself, um, and decided that doing an, an egg lock would, you know, would be a lot more fun. Um, obviously, I will explain in the second one egg lock is. Um, so instead of doing a blaze black two, I'm going to do a vault white two egg lock. So it's going to be very difficult for me, at least. Um, it should be fun to see how I get on. Um, basically, if you don't know what an egg lock is, you need to know what a nuzz lock is. If you don't know what a nuzz lock is, I feel sorry for you. Um, so let's go. I'm going to teach you what a nuzz lock is and then what an egg lock is. So, starting off with the basic rules of a Nuzlocke, uh, you just play it like any other uh, Pokemon game, but instead, if a Pokemon faints, it's classed as dead and you can't use it anymore. And also, you are only allowed to catch the first Pokemon you enter in the area. So, every if you go into Route 1 and I encounter know, a Pidgey, I don't know, I'm using a random example here, I have to kind of, if I, like, that's the only Pokemon I can catch on that route. If it runs away or it faints, I can't catch any more Pokemon on that route. Now, those are the main two uh, kind of building blocks of a Nuzlocke, so that's all I'm going to tell you really. I'm not gonna, I might include some more in the end, but I'm not sure. Um, and now on to what an, an egg lock is. Basically, you play through the game using eggs sent to you by people. Now, um, obviously, you know, it's hard, so the thing you have to do is play it like a Nuzlocke, but every time you catch Pokemon, you have to switch it out for an egg in the in the PC. Um, and I like this idea, obviously, because it means you have random, if your people, if friends are sending you eggs, you have no idea what Pokemon is which, you have no idea what's in the egg, you know, so it's, it's even more random than, you know, a, a, a ROM hack would be. So I'm really, uh, really excited to do it for you guys. So now I'm going to um, go show you how you can send me some eggs, so um, yeah, watch this little clip. Right, so if I show you now how to send me some eggs, there'll be um, three links in the description, one to download Des Moomate, one to download Pokegen, and one to download my save file. Now, obviously, um, you need to use Desmoomy to run the uh, the file if you really want to. Um, but here we are. Okay, this, I'm, I'm rambling on here. Okay, so go to Pokegen and open up, and then go File, Open, and then head down and find the save file, which will be you know wherever you saved it. Open that up, and it should just give you a screen like this. It's completely blank. So now um, you need to select what Pokemon you want to give me and the species name. So say we're going to send myself a Chikorita. So um, Chikorita, Chikorita, Chikorita. There it is there. Okay, Chikorita. Nickname, um, if you want me to call the Pokemon what the, what your name is or something like that, or want to give it a nickname yourself, type something in the nickname um, bar here. If you don't want me if you want me to give my own nickname, just leave it blank. So um let's call it Uber Uber Guy. Uber Guy, and you need to tick this box. Experience means to be zero, left being one. Nature, I'm not sure if it actually changes it, but you can select it if you really want to. And ability, you need to go onto Bulbapedia here, um, which you can just find by typing the Pokemon's name into Google and it should be the top result. And then you need to look here at the abilities. There's just two for uh, Chikorita, Overgrow and Leaf Guard. Obviously you can select which one you want me to want, want to have. Um, we'll just put, let me see, Overgrow, because that's the basic one for... You can either type it in or you can find it on the list. Uh, and then leave that bit blank there. Form, nothing there. Country, origin, you can select this, I don't know if it really matters. And then you need to click egg down here. Obviously we want an egg. Uh, you can select male or female, um, I think it changes it, I'm not sure. Shiny, I don't think that works, it works but we can try it anyway. And then click on the Met tab, click matching trainer information. Um, and you can select a location here, a bunch of trainer if you really want to. Select a Pokeball, I think it changes it in game but it doesn't really matter. Uh, level needs to be 1. Encounter, you can change that if you really want to, and Faithful Encounter doesn't really matter. Stats, you can just click Randomize IVs, Randomize EVs, just you know mess around with that as much as you want. And then Attacks, uh, you need to actually go on Bulbapedia again, and you look at the attacks that the Pokemon will know at level 1. So you need to scroll down to the uh, level up attacks here, and it will be here. It'll say you have Start, it'll say Start, if it means Start, that's the one you need to put on. Otherwise it won't have any moves, which isn't very helpful for me. So, uh, to there's Tackle, so you need to type in Tackle. Uh, as I said, you can type it in or you can just search the list for it, it's much easier to type it in. And then Growl, so that's the two moves it needs to learn. Don't mess around with the people or anything, that'll be fine. And then you need to go on the uh, Original Trainer or Misc, Miscellaneous, and click Load from Save File. And it will give you, you know, the save file, uh, so otherwise I'll get like boosted experience, I think. So I don't really want that. And then go back to the Main tab. Now here, at the, at the top it says PID. Now first you need to click the F button here, and you'll get this other screen pop up. Don't really mess around with anything here again, just click search. 
and then you get one, usually one here, and then you select that, click OK, and then uh, File, and then you just click Save, uh, Save Pokemon. So we click that, and then this will uh, pop up, and let's just put it in Pokemon, and we'll, we shall search, we'll just name it Chikorita. You can name it your name uh, or anything really. Just you know, pick, don't like don't call it what it is. That will ruin the surprise for me. Just call it your name or whatever, and then you click, need to click save, and that should have saved it. Now the next thing you want to do is um, you want to send me this this Pokemon file. Um, you can either send me it over Skype. My Skype name is the One Integral, or you can send it to me via email, which is the One Integral at gmail.com. I'll leave both of those in the description below. So if you send me to that to me, I can well I'm gonna get someone else to put it in the file for me, so I don't know which is which. And then I will be able to, you know, play the game and have complete surprise and you know stuff like that it should be really fun to see what you guys send me. Don't um don't send me any legendaries, um and don't send me any like hacked stuff like random abilities and moves and stuff. Because uh if I do find that I probably won't use it, you know, just because it's gonna take away the fun and the challenge of the game. So yeah. I think that's all we have to talk about here guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you sent me some eggs, so um, get on that right away. The Nuzlocke and the Egglock will be starting fairly soon, and the f first episode won't include any eggs obviously, so I can just film that straight away, um, but the next one, a couple days, two, three days, um, and if you do send me an egg, or if you're watching this, you know, when I'm halfway through the walkthrough, you can always still send me an egg, and I'll try and get it in there, and you know, it might get shown in the end. 